Peer reviewers and editors hate chopping of data into many multiple papers when one or two would have been the ideal outcome of a large data set. They don't like claiming that the findings are unexpected or the first demonstration because it is unlikely in the modern world where research is happening in all different countries that our research produces the first unexpected finding. And most of all, editors and peer reviewers don't like cheating on behalf of researchers. So be honest and be truthful. And with this, avoid inappropriate acts in publication. I list some of them here. Plagiarism, duplication, salami, falsification. Here are the different definitions. The bottom line is if these faults underpin a research project, there can be sanction, there can be checking, which will pick up these problems. And once these problems are picked up and it is discovered that the paper submitted is actually fake news, not true science, then a process exists through which sanctions can be applied on authors and research teams. So with this warning, we move on to what is the first myth that peer reviewers reject my papers? Well, this is not true because ahead of peer reviewers are editors who can reject the paper without a review. So the idea is to avoid rejection at the first assessment by the editor. Remember, if a paper is rejected, it has the chance that it will be rejected again. So the idea is to get it right the first time. So I take you through the life cycle of a publication. Here is an idea conceived in 1996. Then protocol is developed. Ethics approval is obtained, recruitment happens, patients are followed up. It takes nearly 10 years and then we are ready for write up of our scientific project. It will then be submitted and published. And this will take a few more years. So a lot of patience is required on part of good scientific teams. This is the outcome of this process a paper published in the Journal of American Medical Association. We want that our paper when submitted as a word file is converted into a PDF publication as soon as possible. We want to hear this news from the editor. We are almost ready to accept your paper. We are pleased to accept your manuscript. Your paper will be online within seven to 10 days. These messages do not arrive in your inbox unless you have done due diligence in your research and have focused effort in writing and presenting it in a manner that is easy for editors to accept. Editors want that when a paper is published, it is accepted by clinicians as science and is used to improve patient-centered research. And this is called evidence based medicine. So these are the few steps of evidence based medicine. Formulate a clear question, find the literature, appraise the science and use this for practice. Do subscribe to Professor Khan's channel for more research related videos.